to my channel. If you're new here, then hey, I'm Lauren and I make videos about lifestyle, beauty and luxury. So if you're interested in any of these topics, please consider subscribing to my channel. Today's video, we'll be talking about my Yves Saint Laurent bag collection or YSL. So I have four Yves Saint Laurent bags from very different models, very different lines. And I thought that I would do a quick video to show them to you and do a mini review as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first bag in my Yves Saint Laurent collection was actually the first one that I got. It's this Yves Saint Laurent Kate in medium uh, with black and then gold hardware. I absolutely love this bag. Um, to tell the truth, this was my first really, really expensive bag. I mean, I had like a Louis Vuitton before and a Prada one, but this was my third handbag and my most expensive up to then. So actually, I still really like this bag because of its durability. The material makes it extremely durable and difficult to stain. And then even when you do stain it, I've had a major sunscreen stain right here. You can't see it anymore. Um, it just came off with a baby wipe in underneath 10 seconds. So for me, that's a very carefree bag. It's a lot more carefree than any Chanel bags that I own. So, you know, if I'm afraid to stain the bag or something like that, or if I'm afraid to have it damaged or scratched or anything, then I'll definitely reach out for this one. I think this is a great bag for that in the sense that it is still classy and it is still, you know, expensive and, and all that, but it's not as damageable and scratchable as a Chanel bag. So for me, that's great. And then it also comes with a strap, a long strap. Um, here, I'll hold it up. It also comes with a long strap, um, which means that you can wear it either on your shoulder or even as a crossbody bag, even if you're tall like me, that still works. So I'm 5'11 or 180 centimeters, and this is still the perfect crossbody bag for me. So I feel like that's really great because <laughs> crossbody bags for tall people are extremely rare, but this one does work, so that's really nice. And then on top of that, it's also a lot more roomy than other bags that I own. So it, it doesn't look like that. But it is still roomy and you don't just have to choose the essentials, like you know, if you have a Chanel Mini or something like that, you definitely have to reach out for what's the most important. But here you can choose to bring a lot more things with you, which is nice, it definitely fits all of your essentials, plus lipstick, for example, mask, hand sanitizer, everything. So that's really nice, I love this bag for that, and I think that it was a solid choice for a first expensive designer bag. right here so if you feel uncomfortable wearing brands in public or you know if you want to take the metro for example in Paris and risky areas where there might be pickpockets this is great because you can simply turn the bag around and you know if you're not into brands this kind of looks like any bag so this is really nice about it so it comes with a really long shoulder strap which is nice because this means that just like the cave bag it can be worn crossbody even if you're tall this works for me if you wear a crossbody in a metro or subway like situation it's obviously dang less dangerous you know if you choose to turn the bag around like this this pretty much looks like any bag on the planet um, only you know a bag aficionado might be able to recognize that it's from Yves Saint Laurent so that's what I like about this bag very understated very casual still I mean this is a, a day bag for me this is not something that I would choose to wear on a night out, but I think that for a day, it's really nice. It's also really good for a travel bag. I mean, not to take on a plane or anything like that, but say if you're traveling and visiting a city, for example, it's very um, comfy in the sense that you have your hands free, so you can hold your travel guide or something like that in your hands, and then still have all of your essentials packed in this little purse right here. And then what's also nice about this bag is that it's still roomy enough, so if you see on the side, it's actually pretty big here at the bottom. 
So this means that it is um, big enough to fit all of your essentials plus a little bit more. It isn't the biggest bag and it's not like the baby size. There's one size up of this bag. So it's not that size um, or there's two sizes up, up. So there are sizes up from this bag. If you're interested in this bag but you find this too small, there are obviously other sizes and I have one other from another size which I'll show in just a minute. So um, you'll see what it looks like. But I'm still in love with this bag for a long time. This was my only summer bag. I just recently bought the Chanel um, medium flap in Tiffany blue. If you haven't seen my unboxing video, I'll link it up right here. So I wore this bag continuously for a really, really long time. And I feel like for being a smooth leather, it isn't damaged at all. I mean, I do keep this inside the bag at all times, just because otherwise it does kind of tend to damage it. So I do keep this inside. But aside from that, really, it is still very soft, smooth leather. There isn't really any scratches or anything like that on the bag, and I've worn this a hundred times, at least. <laughs> so I would re definitely recommend you purchasing this bag if you're looking for a summer casual bag, day bag kind of thing. This is the perfect bag for me. because it's not roomy enough to hold my laptop and my textbooks and my thousand copies. I'm a university lecturer, so I always need to carry my kids' quizzes and things like that. So that just doesn't work for me. But I think that if you work in an office environment, then this would be the perfect work bag. It's also very classy, very understated. Again, there's just this little logo, so it's not this overly um, exposed thing. And then you can turn the bag around and again, this looks like any classic bag. Something else to mention about this bag is that it does come with a shoulder strap. You can wear this bag on your shoulder as well. So if that is a must or a requirement for you in a work bag, that's something that's good to know. Personally, I don't really use the shoulder strap that much. I prefer to hold the bag either in my hands or on my wrist, on my elbow, something like that. Um, but yeah, I think that it's a great work bag. I haven't worn this bag so, so much because, again, it's not a work bag for me and it is very big for an everyday bag, but I do think that it looks really beautiful and if you are interested in having a size comparison with the Nano version in Blush Bang that I just presented, then I'd be happy to do that and tell you a little bit more about this bag and then also the Blush Bang one that I just um, showed you. bag to go to the grocery store and things like that and I think that it works perfectly well for me in the sense that it is very roomy um, and it is an extensible bag so I mean you can pretty much fill it with everything that you need and it will still be able to hold its shape um, so that's what I really like about this bag again I haven't really had the time to use it that much as a work bag but I think that it would work perfectly and it can hold a laptop and everything but it just works really well as an everyday bag for me. It's also not too, too much on the expensive side. I think that I paid around 700 euros and I think that in the US it's about $1,000. So it's still very affordable for a luxury bag. Again, it's kind of understated. It's just got this slight little logo here. And if you don't want that, you can turn the bag around and it just kind of looks like every bag on the planet. There is this little thing here um, that has the Yves Saint Laurent logo on it, but again, you don't have to have it out if you don't want to. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, so, you know, if you want the additional touch of luxury, then you can have that on. But if you don't, then, you know, you can pop this back in and then it looks like the very 
um, sleek bag that it is, and it's really beautiful. Chanel bags so if you're interested in seeing my Chanel bag collection please let me know in the comments down below so I can film that video next. Um, I hope that it was informational and beneficial for you if you're looking to purchase any of the bags that I mentioned. I hope that you can make an informed decision and also if you're looking for a size comparison between the sac de jour in nano and in small also please let me know in the comments down below so I can get to film that video as well. See you in my next video!